Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So I'm kind of distraught actually by this topic, but to, I'm actually going to um, talk about this in two different formats. So what am I speaking about? The topic of today's discussion is how you enter the relationship is how the relationship will thrive or not. <laughs> um, so there are two things that I'm talking about and today I'm going to address one, tomorrow I'll address the other thing. Okay, family, so how you enter the relationship is absolutely how it's going to be. Do not, specifically for my ladies out here, do not get sucked into these relationships and thinking that if he is the cheater, that just because he got with you, that he will now not cheat on you you. Now, does this happen all the time? It happens the majority of the time. It doesn't happen every single solitary time, but it does happen the majority of the time. That if he got with you while he was cheating on somebody else, then guess what? Eventually, at some point in your relationship, you will now be the person who he is cheating on, and he has now cheated on you with the next new sexy fine boo thing. Take for instance... Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't follow the story wholeheartedly, but I will I will say that I followed it enough to say that when he got with Khloe, wasn't he cheating with Khloe on his girlfriend who was pregnant? Like eight or nine months pregnant? Maybe she wasn't that far along. It doesn't matter, but she was pregnant. So now Chloe is surprised that he was cheating on her while she was pregnant. A few days, at least he got caught, a few days before they had their now daughter, True. That don't surprise me. Sorry. Um, side note, very happy for Chloe to have her baby because I actually, she is the, if I was to say that I follow a Kardashian, it would be Chloe. She is the only one that I follow on um, Twitter and uh, Instagram. And I don't even see her stuff a whole lot. But the point is, I really, really loved her. Um, I'm going to take it all the way back. I really loved her in, uh, <laughs> what's his name? Lamar Odom. I actually love their relationship together and I thought that the whole thing was cute. I'm actually really sad that they didn't make it. I'm really sad that um, them two didn't have a child, but that's beside the point. Let me get back to the issue at hand. Chloe, okay, as much as I actually like you and I'm rooting for you, sister, you cannot be surprised that Tristan was caught cheating on you right before you had the baby because how you got into that relationship, again, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But how you got into that relationship, you knew that he had a soon-to-be baby mama. And so it cannot be any surprise to you, my sister, that he decided to find somebody else with old flatter-ass tummy and a round booty to say, hey, whatever, whatever his charming line is. So ladies, do not get sucked into... These relations, and fellas too, because sometimes y'all know that the, the woman is in a relationship and y'all just feel like, okay, I'm, I'm going to do her the way she need. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dig her down. I'm going to do all of this stuff. And then she going to stay with me. She ain't going to cheat on me like the old, like the, uh, like the last one. Because if he was doing what he needed to do, then she wouldn't have cheated in the first place. That might have some truth to it. But if they're a cheater, man or woman, doesn't matter. If they're cheaters, because they are a cheater has nothing to do. You could be doing everything right. I mean, I've said this story before, but I know this guy, he was basically saying that he was cheating on his wife just because. Like, it was nothing wrong at their house. He wasn't lacking for anything. They was having sex. They had good kids, and, and um, she was keeping the house clean, and like his love language, everything was met. They was dating and all this other stuff, and he was still cheating on her because he wanted to cheat. It wasn't anything that she was lacking. She wasn't not doing any of the things that, quote unquote, she shouldn't have been doing. Like making sure that the marriage was thriving and everything. She just was with a cheater. He wanted to cheat, so that's what he did. So don't get sucked into, oh, when, when they get with me, you know, that's not going to happen to me. They're not going to do me the same way. Yeah, they usually do. Yes, there is a small percentage that do not. But for the majority of you guys... 
Yes, yes, that's what they do. They are cheaters, so you get cheated on. So yes, take heed how you enter into relationship if it happens to be a cheating one. If you are the cheater, if you uh, again, if you happen to enter the relationship and you know that you are the new boo, male or female, doesn't matter, then you cannot or should not be surprised when that same person does it to you a few months, a few years, whenever it is, because you did not enter the relationship on a correct basis. And let me just say that that relationship could hardly ever be blessed. It cannot, because you went into it wrong. It can't. That relationship cannot be blessed because you went into it wrong. Now, can you can you guys go through a couple things and ask for forgiveness and ask God to, you know, take away the sins and, you know, forgive you for your sins and everything? Yes, you can absolutely repent for those sins, but there, there is something that you are going to go through in order to get that healthy relationship if you both want it. But usually, most couples don't work out that way. When the relationship starts off bad, it does not get blessed because you are not even sad about what you did, at least the party that was doing the cheating and, or took the cheating mate or whatever it is. Usually, you're not sad about it. But then you also wonder why your relationship doesn't work out. All I'm saying is think about it. Now, family, if you, if you need help with... If you need help with your relationship, I would absolutely suggest that you take a look at my online courses. All of that information is down in the description box below. I have a course for my ladies who are absolutely single and you are just trying to figure out this single thing. I have a course for you. It's called Super Single Ladies. Check out that course. It's going to absolutely help you to understand exactly who you are, what you want, what you need, which is a desire from yourself and when you decide to start dating and getting into the relationship. My second course is for you guys who are actually absolutely in the dating stages. You need help. You are you are actually already worked on yourself. You know what you want, need, and desire, and now you're actively in the dating stages, but you're still having trouble in the dating stages to really understand what you need to be asking, what you need to be looking for, etc. That will help you out in the dating stages. And then finally, have a course for you guys who are in long-term relationships or who are married, but you need a boost in your relationship. Maybe you have not worked on yourself. You can absolutely take the single girl single girl course or the super single um, super single course. <laughs> You can take that course or you can absolutely work on your marriage and then at some point go back and take that course as well. I absolutely recommend it. You guys will understand so much about yourselves. Your relationship will absolutely start to thrive. And I would just suggest that you check into it. Because again, how you enter the relationship is how the relationship usually is going to go. I will talk to you guys tomorrow about the second thing that I mean by this. Deuces.